Highlighting history of suburban Sydney with the St Peter's Cooks River History Group. Our aim is to preserve and promote local history. We are based at St Peter's in Sydney's Inner West. The Sydney suburbs of San Susie, Sandringham and Dolls Point are situated on the Rocky Point Peninsula near the mouth of the Georges River in Botany Bay. Pre-1788, Indigenous people occupied the peninsula. In 1830, when Robert Cooper married Catherine Rutter, the governor, Sir Ralph Darling, gave the bride a grant of 100 acres, which was named Charlotte Point, in honour of her mother. The house built on the estate was called Rocky Point House. The area became known as Rocky Point. After Cooper's death, Thomas Holt, pastoralist, company director and politician, leased Rocky Point House and renamed it San Susie in honour of the summer palace belonging to the German emperor in Potsdam, his wife's birthplace. He intended to use it as a residence, but because of its isolation, his wife refused to live there. After a dam was built across Cooks River in 1840, the track leading to the area became known as Rocky Point Road. The area was occupied by fishermen, shell gatherers, woodcutters and bark strippers. The name Strippers Point was given to a specific area. In 1856, Amos Selman and his family settled in the district. He worked at road making and lime getting. His wife made baskets for shell gatherers. Their first house was Rose Cottage. Later they moved to Blanche Cottage, still standing on Rocky Point Road. The Selman family had a boat shed and oyster leases in the area. In 1862, Rocky Point Road became a parish road and a trust was formed for its repair and maintenance. San Susie was leased by Louis Detman, who converted it into an hotel. In 1865, William Russ took over the hotel. Under his management, the hotel became a popular destination for picnickers on excursions from Sydney. Russ laid out pleasure grounds and constructed a wall. In 1868, a race meeting was held on Boxing Day. The following year, Rust advertised a pigeon picnic at San Susi for pigeon shooting. Rust left San Susi in 1871 and moved to Strippers Point, renaming it Sandringham. He built a weatherboard hotel called the Prince of Wales. This was replaced by a two-storied hotel in 1880. In 1882... Ellesmere, a sandstone villa overlooking Cogra Bay, still standing at 23 Vista Street, was built by William Rust. The first occupants were Walter and Anne Moyce. A portion of land west of Rocky Point Road was offered for sale as the St Kilda Estate. Fontainebleau was built by James Cameron Crawford. In 1884, John Freighter became proprietor of the San Susi Hotel. During the 1890s, St Andrew's Church of England held services in Freighter's Shed, an outbuilding of the hotel. Land sales in the area were stimulated by the proposed opening of a school and a steam tramway. In 1885, Sandringham Public School was established on the Ellesmere Estate. When Walter and Anne Moyes moved to Broughton, William Rost moved into Ellesmere. St Kilda... A stone mansion with a tower was built by William Pritchard, soap manufacturer, on St Kilda Point. In the grounds there was a croquet lawn, sports field and cricket pavilion. St Andrew's Church used Pritchard's cricket pavilion when they moved from Freighter's Shed. The house is still standing today at 67 Vista Street. In 1887 the San Susie steam tram began operation from Cogra Railway Station along Rocky Point Road to Sandringham. The tram service led to the development of the peninsula. Bathing and boat sheds flourished. George Hughes had a boat shed and refreshment rooms. George Collis was a boat proprietor and his wife Alice ran Collis's refreshment rooms. Collis built a pavilion for group entertainment. The intersection of Water Street and Rocky Point Road was known as Collis's Corner. Richard and Jesse Humphrey had a boat shed and refreshment room. Alex Pilgrim took over Selman's boat shed and had a small shop selling oysters, refreshments and teas. Free shark-proof baths were adjacent to his boat shed. Harry Delaney took over the boat shed of Peter Bauman. 
Delaney's boat shed became a landmark for three quarters of a century. The Dolls Point subdivision at Sandringham was advertised for sale in 1887. Circa 1888, Denby, at 1 Plimsoll Street, was built by William Rust. In 1935, it was purchased by A.E. Oldfield, renamed Joy Home and used as a children's holiday house. In the 1970s, it was transferred to the Baptist Homes Trust, who sold it in 1985. Villas occupy the site today. A teacher's residence was completed next to Sandringham Public School in 1889. Cogra Council proposed building municipal baths in the San Susi area in 1891. James Eve, a leading Sydney tobacconist, built a large two-storey Italianate building which became the Scarborough Hotel. A post office opened in 1892. Henry Doze, the first postmaster, was paid £52 per year, plus an allowance to employ a mail boy to make a daily letter delivery by horseback. In 1893, the Scarborough Hotel became Scarborough House, with accommodation and an unlicensed private club. Joseph Carruthers, a future Premier of New South Wales, lived there. James Eve advertised Scarborough House for sale in 1894. The San Susie Tidal Baths opened in 1897. The St George Sailing Club was formed on the eastern side of the San Susie Peninsula. Frederick T. Wimble, a printer and pioneer ink manufacturer, bought Scarborough House. Joseph Carruthers purchased Ellesmere. A bowling green was built in the grounds and the Ellesmere Bowling Club formed. In 1899, a new school building replaced the wooden one at Sandringham Public School. Indigenous people were still living in the area until the early years of the 20th century. San Susie was advertised as a health resort and rural playground of the southern suburbs, emphasising its seaside pleasure grounds, as well as outdoor activities such as fishing, boating and cricket. Diagonally opposite the Prince of Wales Hotel was Clareville Pleasure Gardens and Clareville Hall. In 1902, St Andrew's Small Weatherboard Church was built. The SS Erina made its inaugural trip to Cornell in 1903. For 25 years, it ran weekend services from San Susi to Cornell via Brighton. In 1906, an ambitious San Susi Progress Association called on Cogra Council for support in obtaining a punt, if not a bridge, to Commons Point, today's Tarin Point. James Toyer established his Palm Nursery in Griffith Street in 1909. The San Susie Hotel closed in 1911. It became a boarding house run by Mrs Dwyer. During its final years, before demolition in 1921, it was a laundry operated by Mrs Emily Brown. In 1914, the Wimble family left Scarborough House. The Paragon Hall was situated in the grounds of the Prince of Wales Hotel. In 1916, Rocky Point Road was extended through the San Susi Pleasure Grounds to join up with a ramp giving access to the new San Susi Tarrant Point steam-driven vehicular ferry. During World War I, there was an attempt to rename San Susi because of its German connection with the Kaiser's Palace at Potsdam. In 1919, Scarborough House became a Red Cross repatriation home for returned soldiers and another school building opened at Sandringham Public School. The St George Motorboat Club was formed in 1920 and a clubhouse opened the following year. In 1921, the Dr Bernardo organisation occupied Scarborough House. Sandringham Public School was renamed San Susi Public School in 1923. In 1926, Alexander Allen bought Scarborough House and renamed it Coromel Hall. A hall was built for St Finbar's Catholic School it was also used for church services until a church was built in 1959. The Georges River Sailing Club was formed in 1927 and Hughes Boat Shed was bought for a clubhouse. In 1929, a brick St Andrew's Church replaced the small weatherboard church and Sunday school. The Baptist Church acquired land to build a church in Hillview Street. 
the San Susi Baptist Mission had been established in 1905 and the name San Susi Baptist Church was officially adopted from 1908. From 1929 until 1934, St Lawrence College, an Anglican boys' school, occupied Scarborough House. The dilapidated San Susie bars were demolished and rebuilt with a shark-proof swimming enclosure which opened in 1931. The pavilion, with dressing rooms, lockers and a casualty room, opened in 1933. In the same year, San Susi Park, situated on the foreshores of George's River, was dedicated for public recreation. Aquaflora Park, adjacent to Clareville Park, opened in 1933 and remained open until 1956. In 1936, St George Hospital took over Scarborough House and renamed it Primrose House, after Herman B. Primrose, a member of the St George Hospital Board. The steam tram between Cogra and San Susie along Rocky Point Road was replaced by trolleybuses in 1937. Trolleybuses, while they required overhead wires, did not need a rail line and caused less disruption in other traffic. In 1952, Mick Moylan became proprietor of the Prince of Wales Hotel. In 1954, the original punt was replaced by a larger one capable of carrying 26 vehicles. In the 1950s, an enclosed bathing area was constructed at Dolls Point. During the 1960s, the first home units and villas were built on the peninsula. In 1959, the government announced that the trolley buses were to be replaced by diesel buses. In 1961, the Prince of Wales Hotel's name was changed to Hotel San Susi. The old hotel was demolished. Moyland opened modern premises on the site. The punt was making over 40 trips per day to transport a thousand vehicles. A decision was made to erect a bridge. In 1965, the Captain Cook Bridge was opened to traffic. Because of rising pollution levels along the Georges River, Congress Council decided to replace the tidal pool at San Susi. The San Susi Olympic Pool was opened in 1965. The pool complex included new dressing sheds, a 50-metre outdoor swimming pool, children's wading pool and a kiosk. Mick and Mavis Moylan sold the hotel in 1966. It remained open until the 1980s. The San Susi Water Police Base began operating in 1973. In 1978, the Water Police, Maritime Services Board and Fisheries occupied a portion of the former San Susi tidal bars. In 1992, the San Susi Hotel site was redeveloped for residential use. Fourteen building blocks were advertised for sale. The San Susi Olympic Pool was upgraded to the San Susi Leisure Centre. In 2018, Primrose House became Scots College Brighton Preparatory School. Today, the area is mostly residential. A shopping strip is located on Rocky Point Road and a small group of shops are located at the intersection of Clareville Avenue and Russell Avenue. It continues to be a popular leisure time area. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel. It's free. And check out our website, stpeterscooksriverhistory.wordpress.com.